Thank you, Ethan. In the past 90 minutes, the sheriff in Las Vegas held a news conference that you saw live here on News 4 Jackson at 4 o'clock. We learned the shooter, millionaire Stephen Paddock, carried out what police describe as extensive planning before the attack, even placing cameras in the hallway outside his 32nd floor hotel room, cameras that were hidden in a food and beverage cart. He fired for a full nine minutes on the crowd below. Paddock also wired $100,000 to the Philippines. That's the home country of this woman, identified as his live-in girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley. However, it is not yet known whether the money was for her, her family, or some other purpose. Investigators say she remains a person of interest and could fill in some of the blanks when she returns to the United States tomorrow. Police remain mystified about Paddock's motive. They also have not confirmed the exact types of guns he used in the shooting. But the rapid fire sound of the shooting rampage has many people speculating the worst, that the gunfire came from a machine gun. The I-team's Lindsay Gardner spent the day digging through federal data and learned it is legal here to own a fully automatic weapon and found out how many are here in Florida. Lindsay. Well, Tom and Mary, these are just two of the 23 guns investigators found inside of Paddock's hotel room. Sources say at least one of them was outfitted with something called a bump stock. That's a device that would enable it to fire hundreds of rounds per minute like a machine gun. We found it is legal to still make new machine guns in the USA, but only for law enforcement purposes. It is also legal for citizens to own machine guns if they were made before the 1986 ban. And today, the I-Team found Florida is the third highest state in the country with the number of automatic weapons registered with the federal government. The arsenal of 49 guns inside Stephen Paddock's hotel room and two nearby homes are being fully examined by the ATF. Based on the hail of bullets heard ringing through the Las Vegas Strip, speculation is Paddock had at least one fully automatic weapon or a semi-automatic that he manipulated. So far, agents have not confirmed anything. Even if Paddock did own a machine gun, local gun advocacy attorney Eric Friday says it's possible it was perfectly legal up until the moment he fired on innocent concert goers. The ATF knows who owns just about every fully automatic firearm in this country. According to the ATF, machine guns manufactured before a 1986 ban took effect are legal for private citizens to own. And it's legal to transfer ownership to another gun owner, as long as the weapon is properly registered with the government. The I-Team combed through the ATF database and found as of 2017, Connecticut, where the Newtown School Massacre unfolded, is home to the most machine guns in our country, more than 52,000 of them. Texas comes in second with 36,500 machine guns. Florida in at number three with 36,100 registered machine guns. Now these numbers do include guns owned by state and local law enforcement. It is the right to own a machine gun and other legal firearms that Friday fights for as general counsel for Florida Carry. If we're already regulating them as tightly as we can, and somebody still gets one and does something bad with it, are we going to punish every other person in this country? We don't tell everybody, sorry, we're taking away your cars because a drunk driver runs into a crowd of people, and we shouldn't write gun laws based on what one crazy person does. Will there ever be an instance for you as a gun advocate to sit there and say, now, enough is enough? It's a right, not a privilege. But my attitude is, if it saves my child's life, it's worth it. Mother turned gun safety advocate Lucy McBath lost her 17-year-old son Jordan Davis here in Jacksonville after he was gunned down at a gas station during a fight over loud music. On Twitter, she calls herself a spokesmom for two groups, Moms Demand Action and Everytown. Yesterday, McBath tweeted, America, we can prevent these tragedies and work to make our country safer. Hashtag gun safety. The New York Times published this editorial 
editorial today, spotlighting mass shootings since the previous deadly record here in Florida last year, titled 477 days since Pulse Massacre, 521 mass shootings, zero action from Congress. In fact, the I-team found gun production in America spiked again over the last year. In 2016, 11 million new firearms were manufactured in the United States, up from 9 million the year before. Compare that to just 3.9 million total guns made back in 2007. Numbers that show gun manufacturing is increasing with each and every tragedy. The ATF classifies a machine gun as an automatic weapon, meaning that one pull of the trigger will shoot until the magazine is emptied. Friday estimates a machine gun cost around $20,000 on average, with the rounds up to $5 a bullet. He says it is those costs that keep machine guns away from the average criminal because it can cost hundreds of dollars every time you fire it for a matter of minutes.